Good morning, DBS family. My name is Alison Monrez, and thank you for tuning in to DBS This Morning, the show that wakes you up in the know. Now, today's show is going to be around KFC's promotion as well as some road safety. But before I get into all that good stuff, let's take a stop at the news desk for this morning's headlines. Good morning. Information Minister Dr. Ernest Tille has acknowledged the public's right to information and the transparency from the government. However, he says government is careful of what is made available for public consumption, particularly when it involves investors, because of the negative implications. I, too, as minister, complain I don't get information from government. No, no, no. It's true. It's a, it's a culture of the public service. I mean, I spend so much time virtually engaging public officers to just give me information. As minister, I need to know X, Y, and Z. So, I mean, the issue of information, which, uh, especially in, in this present period, um, for example, something that always amazes me is cabinet conclusions are secret documents. I always try to figure out why. Why should a cabinet conclusion be a secret document? But it's been like that ever since colonial days. Dr. Hiller's comments come after repeated calls by the opposition United Workers' Party to make details of the MOU signed with Global Ports Holdings public. St. Lucia has recorded yet another homicide. Dead is Wilson Joseph, alias Fat Boy of George Shine Drive in Viewfort. Police have launched an investigation as efforts continue to rid the streets of illegal guns. On Monday the 17th day of October 2022, about 11.19 a.m., two high-powered rifles were seized during an operation at Shed 6 at the Customs of Incastries. The matter is currently under investigation. Anyone with information regarding this latest shooting is asked to contact the nearest police station or to use the 555 number for anonymous reporting. Information and Communications Technology ICT consultant Jerry George has made history as the first St. Lucian and only the third Caribbean citizen to be elected to the Advisory Council of the American Registry for Internet Numbers. The American Registry for Internet Numbers, or ARIN, as it is referred to, is one of five regional um, internet registries. And um, globally, internet numbers or IP, IP numbers are assigned across the globe in, in the world is, is divided into five regions. And Aaron is responsible for the American and Caribbean region. And their role is to manage the allocation of IP addresses. An IP address is a unique set of numbers for internet endpoints. And also for autonomous system numbers, which is a unique number assigned to a network for routing purposes and allows traffic to traverse the global internet. So basically, um, those five RIRs, including Aaron, are responsible for ensuring that the internet works the way it's supposed to. George sees his appointment as an important milestone which will allow him to advocate for greater participation by locals and people of the region in spaces which deal with ICT policy and regulation. Uh, finally, an exhibition which kicked off at the Baywalk Mall on Wednesday aims to sensitize all sections of the population on the benefits and capabilities of geospatial technology and national spatial data infrastructure. In St. Lucia, we have an issue where a lot of ministries and other agencies work in silos. So, Ministry of Physical Development will be collecting their own data, infrastructure will be collecting their own data, statistics and so on. So what we're trying to do will actually help in savings and reduction of work. When one agency actually collects data, other agencies are able to use this data. As you could see, we have other agencies here who are not government. We have Lucilec, we have private agencies here also, all partnering so that it will spell savings for everyone. If we collect data, if for example, Statistics collects data, they partner and um, physical development infrastructure can use this data in, and it saves time because now at least that part is taken off. The three-day showcase hosted by the Department of Physical Development in collaboration with the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project, the DVRP, will highlight the use of geospatial data and the technology in varying sectors such as agriculture, data collection and utility services and planning. 
Those are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Thanks, news team. And don't go too far, because we'll be right back. Thanks for sticking around. Now, as you know, KFC just had a promotion. So let's see who won. Good morning. Welcome to our draw for, well, our much anticipated draw. We had Real Foods main office, head office here in Bosseju. And today we're going to be drawing for a grand prize of a trip to Miami. And that prize includes uh, tickets to return tickets, uh, four nights accommodation and 500 US spending money. So one lucky person is gonna get a chance to win that prize this morning. That's been running for like two months now at the stores. It was available at all our five locations. And in here, we got so many receipts, we had to put it in this big bin here. So my lovely assistant and co-worker is going to be assisting me this morning by doing the dip. And hopefully we're going to get a lucky winner this morning. Just to say that the winner of course, has to have a valid, valid passport and a valid U.S. visa for to be eligible to win the prize. So, if your name is pulled up, you must have these requirements to qualify to receive that prize. Again, once again, the prize is two tickets, return tickets to Miami, four nights accommodation, and 500 U.S. spending money. So, without further ado, I will invite my assistant to deep for that, that person, a lucky winner. We are here today to present our uh, prize to for the Miami Getaway. Um, we did the selection and we got our lucky winner who has joined us here this morning to receive a prize. And Ms. Chanel Prosper is the lucky winner of a trip to Miami, um, two tickets, two return tickets, um, four nights accommodation, and 500 US spending money. So this morning we're going to be presenting a prize to Miss Prosper, and we are here at our main office at Real Foods in Bosseju, and we have the presence of the National Lotteries Authority, uh, who will oversee this presentation. Uh, we've had approval for this. Um, the, the promotion went on for like a month and a half. Persons entered by spending $25 or more at any of our stores and they placed the receipts in the entry boxes and the selection was made and Ms. Chanel Prosperine came up. The receipt was in the box. So congratulations to Chanel. Um, I'm sure you're going to enjoy your trip. <laughs> and um, spend the money wisely. So I don't know if you want to say a few words to the persons out there and uh, um, how you're going to enjoy your prize. For sure, I'll go to the mall and enjoy myself. Rest oh. as well, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> okay, thank you Chanel. Thanks for shopping at, um, at KFC. Thanks for coming to KFC and purchasing your, your, your food. I hope you continue to come to KFC, right? Yes, when you have kids, why not? <laughs> it's easier sometimes, most times. Okay, so here's your, I think your, I think your travel arrangement has been made already. Thank you. You're living on Saturday, she's going to be living on Saturday. She's going to be going to Miami, like I said, um, to return tickets. And who are you going to be bringing to the trip? My lovely sister, Dion oh, Rossman. Wow, oh, lovely sister. <laughs> Yes. And um, so just to give you the vision of your 500, 500 US um, cash spending money. Thank you everyone and Chanel, I hope you um, enjoy your trip and have a good time. Thanks. you know or as you don't know this week has been road safety so let's check 
a little video out telling us a little bit more about the rules of the road.
lagi. people my name is Asma Rose and thank you for tuning in to another episode of Ali's Corner today's episode is going to be about the festive season I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy and unique way to get some fun designs on your Christmas cards now this is a craft that is good for all ages the whole family so let's get right into it shall we so the first thing you're gonna need is shaving cream I've already gone ahead and put mine in a this is the top of a, a shoe box right so you need a lot of surface area enough for your paper but I'll get into all those details in one moment you will need a towel I'm using a wooden towel you could use a spoon you could use a toothpick or a skewer and this is just going to help mix our colors into the shaving cream now I have alcohol inks but you can use food coloring to make it a little bit easier for you but this is what I had on hand you choose your colors and this is where you can be as creative as you want to be I'm also going to be using a black Posca pen this is a paint marker so you could either use paint markers pencils whichever one you're more comfortable with this is how I'm going to be decorating my already decorated card now for my card paper I'm using a little piece of white cardstock you can use any type of paper you want but this is my choice and I'm also using a six inch ruler this will act as a scraper for me but you could use anything that is flat and full so let's get right into it so once you have your shaving cream on your flat surface you will then add your colors you can add your colors in random let's put everything to the side you can add your colors in random areas random designs and then if you're not satisfied with how it naturally forms you can use your dowel or um, skewer to mix around the colors so because I'm doing a festive Merry Christmas card I'm using yellow lime green and guys this is one of a messier 
art so I'm sure you have some towels on hand or a damp cloth. If you want it a little bit more random, you can take your stick and mix it around. Now, if you want to um, decorate both the front and back of your card, you can lay your paper flat. If you only want the front, you can fold it in half and place only the front side down. This is a good technique not only for cards, but any sort of artwork you're trying to do. So once you're satisfied with your colors and your design, you're gonna take your card and place it directly into the shaving cream. You'll press it down to ensure that all areas on the front gets color. You're done you're gonna pick it up and voila once you have done this you're gonna put away your shaving cream and lay it on whatever surface you're comfortable with I'm using my table because I'm gonna clean right after but you can lay down some newspaper some parchment paper or anything like that to avoid or to make the mess a little bit Cleaner. So once you have your desired pattern, you're going to take your scraper and to remove all the excess shaving cream. this is my end result you're gonna let it dry once you move all the excess shaving cream and then we can decorate a little bit more using paint markers sequins anything like that you don't want to press into the shaving cream or the ink because you want to ensure that it dries onto the paper leaving your beautiful design behind now the reason we use the shaving cream is so that the colors don't get muddy and you get that nice and unique design so now that you're waiting for your stuff to dry you can wash up clean your desired area and get on to waiting so you can then decorate all right guys so now that it's completely dry it's time to decorate So for mine, I'm going to be writing Merry Christmas over the cover. Alright guys, this is my final product. Now I really want to see yours. So you can set it to 723-3333 and you'll get the chance to be featured in the next Alice Corner. Now I believe this is a simple craft that anyone can do from any age whatsoever. So give it a try. Art is for everyone. 
And I'll see you next week on Alice Corner. Bye. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of our show. Now, before you leave, I have one last thing to say. Be yourself because everyone else is taken. So, guys, go out and have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye. Thank you.